Good morning. It is day five. Sitting here in the campground, enjoying a little breakfast. Oatmeal again. And we're just going to take a little bit of time to settle into the morning. I have a couple possibilities for today, but nothing set in stone yet. I did pass a little hole in the wall laundromat, so I might actually take my clothes there to get them clean. I did try to clean them by hand and it worked fairly well but it might be nice to just throw everything into an actual laundry machine so we will see about that we have a friend Gracie is sulking because I gave the chipmunk a piece of her food. Okay, we're on the road after having a nice breakfast and having a chat with my neighbors who are native Michiganians. They highly suggested that I go to Picture Rocks today rather than waiting until tomorrow. Since I had such a leisurely breakfast, I won't actually get there until about noon. Um, but I figure after our long day yesterday at Mackinac and all of that walking, I'm not sure that um, Gracie Lou or I are up for, you know, six or seven hours of hikes again today. But we do intend to see the major points. And then they mentioned something that I have to have while I'm in the UP. I'm not going to tell you. And this is a, this is a, um, a native whatever you call it, a typical cuisine of Michigan, Upper, upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, and I'll let you know what I think. I'm not even gonna tell you what it is yet. Gorgeous day today. Very excited to be going and viewing more nature. at our first hike on National or Picture Rocks Lake Sh National Lakeshore, which is Munsing Falls. We're gonna see how this goes. observation number one Michigan people have you ever been to Hocking Hills so this hike to Muskegon Falls reminded me very much of Hocking Hills and the falls were beautiful they just were nothing like to write home about so no I'm not complaining I'm just making an observation uh, observation number two the bugs are horrific today, and I got this bug repellent. All natural ingredients, no DEET, cedar scent. Woohoo! Don't work. I was getting bit like crazy. All right, we're headed to the next supposedly amazing, awesome adventure. Are you serious? Seriously? Seriously? Crazy. You are all dirty now. My word. Well, glad you had a good time. Okay, my takeaway from that is um, it was beautiful. So that was called Sandpoint Beach. Um, it was very pretty dog friendly. As you saw, Gracie had a lovely time. I'm going to see if they have a dog wash station somewhere in Munsing. And now I'm headed to there's Miner's Castle, Miner's Beach, Miner's Fall. There's a couple of different hikes there. So we'll see what that is like. Okay, 
good old Menard's bucket now filled with clean clothes. I'm so excited. Daisy and I are enjoying a little lunch. This is a pasty, not a pasty. If you say pasty, they'll know you're not from Michigan. So apparently there's some history behind pasties. Uh, if you're a history buff, you can look that up. Uh, but this was the recommendation of my camping neighbors, campground neighbors. I got two forks instead of a knife and a fork. I mean, I do have a knife in my car. We're gonna just dig into this. A pasty, chicken pot pie-ish, but this is beef flavored. So it has beef, beef, potatoes, carrots, onions and rutabaga and it is very very good thumbs up to the up <gasps> gracie lou threw the pasty out of her mouth <laughs> don't you like pasties <laughs> that was quite quite hilarious there's a piece of pasty on the ground now. Are you sad that you <laughs> threw it on the ground? Should we try one more piece? Okay, that one went down. All right, yum, yum. Okay, I'm out of the car, standing here, not getting bit at all, so I'm gonna risk it. Okay, we are <coughs> headed to Castle Rock Falls. Very short hike, only half a mile or so. This is miserable. These mosquitoes are horrible. So I'm trying to protect myself from the onslaught because my stupid natural bug repellent doesn't repel bugs. Gracie is not very into this hike. <laughs> not sure why, but we'll see if it's worth it when we get there. Okay, these bugs are so bad <laughs> that I'm kicking it into high gear, which means Gracie has to go to the backpack. And when I stop to put her in the backpack, holy cow, I nearly got eaten alive. Maybe I'll come back. I survived the gauntlet. That was so, I don't even know. There are no words. I, I covered myself so like this much of my face was showing. I held that hood like tight on my face because they were flying in the hood and like getting my ears and stuff. And even holding it like this, they're still, I'm like constantly like this. So thankfully I had put Gracie Lou in her nice little screen porch backpack because I don't know how I would have been able to manage her and hanging on and going like that. So, um, all that to say, I am done with walking in the woods until I find some bug spray that works. And I would have loved to sit on the nice bench that they had at the top of the steps. But I sat for about two seconds, maybe three, to try to catch my breath and I was assaulted. It's like they're hovering a few feet above all these humanoids that are walking down the trail. And the minute they see a weak link in the pack, they dive bomb and attack. It is vicious. Enough ranting about Michigan's mosquitoes. I really don't think there's probably anything they can do that is safe or legal to get rid of the mosquitoes. Gracie? Are you ready for your surprise? Hmm, what could it be? What could it be? All right, crazy. Kick it out now. What do you think, Gracie? Shake off, shake off.
A little reward for Gracie Lou for being so good for her bath. Why are you so dainty? My goodness. Here, just here. Put it right there. There it is. No, not right now. Are you too humiliated? I'm sorry about that, but you do look a lot nicer right now. We've got about an hour and a half drive home. I'm gonna sign off for tonight because once we get back, it's gonna be a quick scramble to just get the bed cleared and then I'm gonna hit the sack. And tomorrow I'm looking forward to just peace and quiet, another day of just sitting and being restful. And then on Sunday we move on to the next place. So it's been a good day and um, I will say goodbye for now and we'll see you tomorrow.